Hello everyone and welcome to this new module. In this new module we will learn about some basic technologies what we can uh, quickly implement in our systems or in our uh, premises so that we can get a quick result and we can get a quick uh, basic security at least to at least SL1 what we can do. So let's start with the, some of the basic technologies what we can implement. So first one is the asset management. So this ability for uh, the, the what is asset management? It is the ability for organization to just let me get the point. So the ability for the organization to properly and consistently identify and consistently manage data, personal devices, systems and facilities based on their relative importance provides a foundational capability to support an organizational security program. So this is the definition of asset management. So if uh, someone says like what does asset man management contain? It doesn't contain only the asset management. It needs an identification and management of data, personal data also, personals also, devices also, systems, facilities, everything, whatever exists in the plant premises. So what are other specific features we need to check? So first is like unique identifiers, like you have seen the tag names in the plant so uh, there are several tag names some follow kks coding some follow uh, different tag names to identify the devices pressure transmitters or thermocouples or uh, even the workstations network switches so those are identified so the, these are the identifiers we need for the tracking of assets as well as for inventory management so hardware inventory management to track computing and network devices including device details and location so whatever uh, uh, network devices are already installed in the plan. So those device details and locations are required. Then software and firmware inventory management to track the software and firmware with version numbers and location information. So, so how many softwares are installed in my plant and what type of softwares are implement uh, are installed in the plant and uh, what are the version numbers when they are going to expire when they are going to become obsolete when when we need to update it when the license will get expired so those all specific informations are the part of the asset management then we need vendor information to establish a repository of vendor information points of contact warranty information locations of recall update information so all information related to the vendor so if we are using some products of the vendor we need to Keep track of all those informations about the warranty, locations of recall or if some product needs support. So how can we get the support if we need some replacement? So how to get that all those procedures information need to be put in a single place. Then next is documented roles and responsibilities to identify specific individuals, teams or organizational groups who represent the asset owner and those with operation and maintenance and cybersecurity roles and responsibilities. So this is about the documentation of everything, all the roles, responsibility, governance of the organization, who owns what, who is uh, responsible for what. So those type of documentation is uh, required. Then uh, other things what asset management contains, those are like device discovery and protection. So there are several automated tools for uh, device discovery also. Uh, they can discover your devices, you, they can do a baselining of devices and also protection of the devices. In case of new, someone plugs a new device in your network, those can be identified. So these type of solutions are available. Then we have vulnerability management also. So some asset management solutions, if you see in the market, they, they have the vulnerability management also. So they can pinpoint the product specific vulnerabilities. Uh, which are published or uh, researched in some the document or in public forum or by the OEM those information you will get uh, by the asset management solutions also though it is not the dedicated part of asset management but nowadays uh, we can see it's a com suite, complete suite it is coming from the vendors and they provide all these sorts of capabilities then one important part of this uh, asset management is change management so if there is some change in the assets so the, those related information can also come into the uh, picture so that those information uh, will also get like if some firmware got updated or if some device got updated or uh, if some backup or configuration files are updated so these sorts of change related information or even asset management sometimes uh, does have the functionality for approval mechanisms also so we can use it as a change management and versioning tools as well for softwares also and then obsolescence like we discussed that 
uh, asset management can keep track of the uh, when this software is getting expired or when the support is getting finished and uh, what could be the license period and when it is getting terminated so all these records are uh, continuously monitored and we can get a good insight of all our assets asset health with the uh, with this respect in terms of the obsolescence as well then finally the disaster recovery so uh, if we know the status of all our devices in the uh, plan then definitely we can avoid some of the disasters some of the disasters uh, as well so if all the devices are healthy it will definitely contribute as a disaster recovery but if, uh, if these uh, devices and softwares and solutions are not known to us then then we cannot perform a disaster recovery so let's move to the other next part of the asset management so if you see a picture on the right side you will see that many things are associated with the asset management asset management is just not a purpose to create an excel sheet or some cmdb to keep the list of the assets or the inventory of the plan it has multiple roles to do as we discussed like uh, asset management definitely it, it will have the asset inventory so asset inventory can be connected in three forms it could be import it could be active scanning it could be a passive scanning then uh, we talked about the change management so uh, change management uh, can be a part of asset management also it can give up you know, data to change management tool also if it is there then uh, we can know about the vulnerability status of the devices or the assets we can apply patches so it, it will help in vulnerability management uh, as well the communication between uh, various components within the asset management and detection uh, will be also important so let us take an example so there may be an existing asset management or chain management application that doesn't have an active querying capability so if you have chain management or vulnerability uh, management solution and it doesn't have the capability of active querying your network uh, then that would want at least asset inventory from one of those new products so and many if not most of the current competitors in the ic detection market have a strategies to forwarding the security event to seam rather than becoming a seam so we uh, check like how asset inventory or chain management or vulnerability management can give input and can take some inputs from uh, asset management also uh, obviously if asset management is smart enough to generate logs like uh, of the changes whatever is happening in the network it can forward all those security logs to uh, a log receiver also it will help in endpoint protection management so it will tell you the details or the status of the antivirus or if you have edr installed or if you have any other application application allow listing installed it will give you a status of all those applications as well unauthorized configuration changes so this can come into the change management then passive network detection so these asset management tools keep on checking the network for the changes it can uh, it takes uh, some traffic also sometimes in passive sometimes in active so depending on the situation it can collect those information and then further it can pass everything to the ot or seam so once all these data can can go to the seam we can have a good correlated output and we can see like what changes is happening in the network and how it is contributing so basically what uh, we want to understand we need to understand that asset management is a very good solution and basic application because we need to know what we have then only we can protect our systems so basically we we need to know like what elements consist of my inventory even if we have a excel sheet or cmdb that could be a basic uh, way to start the asset management but definitely for the higher security levels we need to go for the automated solutions and which could be integrated to vulnerability management change management seam solutions so that it will be a holistic cyber security approach and and then because asset management could be a good input for all other solutions whatever we can implement so that's all about the asset management let's move to the next topic thank you